Honeybees may be small in size, but the loss of bee colonies worldwide is a huge concern for agriculture. Bees pollinate some 30% of the food crops that we enjoy every day. But in recent years, both a predator called the Varroa mite and something called colony collapse disorder have been decimating hives and killing off bees. It's an enormous problem and it, it is a result of several things coming together all at the same time. Dr. Tom Renderer directs research for the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Honey Bee Breeding, Genetics and Physiology Laboratory in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We've got new pests and pathogens. The parasitic mites have been with us for too short a time for any solution other than the ones we've provided to be available. So we're in the leading edge of that. We do have stocks, bee stocks that are resistant to varroa mites. Those bees, bred with what's called varroa sensitive hygiene, or VSH, can interrupt the process of mites attacking the hive. So these are bees in a VSH colony that are basically searching and destroying mite infested pupae. Baby bees. Baby bees. These bees are now removing As the, a team. the injured pupa. And you can see there, the pupa is destroyed. Oh, wow. And there's another one being pulled out, and as you can see, it's infested with a varroa mite. There's the varroa mite. There's the mite. Outside the lab, these hives contain 60,000 bees used in a nationwide field test. Bees that have been bred with the VSH trait. These three colonies did the best. We'll use them as breeding material. Healthy bees ensure plentiful crops, affecting prices for many fruits and vegetables at the supermarket. The new breed of bees here will go to commercial beekeepers across the nation. Basically just breaking this down, this is in action what is really helping to repair some of the major problems we're seeing with bees. We think this could be very useful, yes. Uh, you know, any of these breeding programs to increase the natural genetic-based resistance in these bee populations can help but be useful. Researchers here say the impact on agriculture is huge. One study from Cornell University put the value of pollination at $15 billion a year. There's a lot of industry support for it. I think they see that we're doing it and that we're moving forward and I think they're very, very excited about that. As research continues on colony collapse, the lab has also developed improved honeybee strains using varieties from Eastern Europe. This is great stuff. This is, this is great biology. Without bee pollination, we could not possibly have the food production that we have, the agricultural systems that we have. So it's a small industry, but it's key to the agriculture that we have and that we see today.